Perhaps you've been amazed by the submarines you've seen in movies, or you got to see what a cruise ship looks like on one of your vacations. This might have ignited an interest in your mind and got you curious on how they're made. Welcome to Mighty Machines, and in this video we will cover the process of building mega ships and machines so that you can understand what it takes to build such. It must be nice to enjoy a little vacation on a cruise and experience all the amenities it can offer. You can enjoy the delicious food their expert chefs bring you, enjoy the comfortable and cozy accommodation, or do other recreational activities. The beauty of going on cruise ships is what made it a big industry. In fact, last 2018, around 314 cruise ships were operating worldwide. They had around 537,000 passengers that time and had an estimated market of $29.4 billion per year. When 2011 came, it grew to 19 million passengers every year. Recently, the estimated revenue has been a whopping $27 billion US dollars, thus making the cruises an in-demand and profitable business. Due to the number of people wanting to get on a cruise ship, operators have seen it necessary to expand the capacity of their ships so more people can get in. However, the traditional method used to do so costs millions of dollars and takes about one and a half years to get done. Instead of building the ship from the ground up, the extension Bremer and Blomenvoss was done by cutting the ship into two and inserting an extension between. To do this, the ship including its hull is divided into two halves. With the help of rollers, one section is moved to give way for the extender in the center. Now, cruise ship extension is easier, faster, and more cost effective. Just like what was mentioned before, constructing a ship from scratch requires at least one and a half years before it can be considered as done. This is due to how heavy and hard to transport their materials can be. Imagine a ship's hull alone uses around 30,000 pieces of 3 quarter inch thick metal sheet. This still doesn't include the floor or the top portion of the boat where the engine gearbox and other components are mounted. To make things smoother, pre-assembly blocks are pieced together. Usually these blocks are from factories that also work with houses, bedrooms, restaurants, and other facilities you can see in cruise ships. This is done to eliminate the need for wiring or piping of individual blocks. In this clip, you'll see how this ship is built completely from blocks that are then painted. Once all is done, it can be now used on the ocean. Have you ever heard of a pneumatic caisson? This is an important component of the engineering method used to support piers. A pneumatic caisson is a watertight box or cylinder-like structure that is closed at the top and open at the bottom. It can usually be seen resting on the bed of the water body. Why is it important? As you can see, this 278 meter long, 28 meter tall beam is along the viaduct large concrete section. Viaducts are a specific type of bridge that is made up of a series of arches piers or columns supporting a long elevated railway or road. A viaduct typically connects two sites of almost equal elevation, allowing direct crossing across a vast valley, road, river, or other low-lying terrain features and obstacles. These are also supported by columns or piers. This specific viaduct is 48 piers high and about 5.4 kilometers long. Now, piers need a foundation so it can stand still and strong even in the ocean. The foundation talked about is the pneumatic caisson. To help you visualize it, pneumatic cations are just like an inverted empty glass of water. The difference is that concrete is used to fill the hollow section of it after inserting the pipe. Now, 
Let's go to a machine that can go through the depths of the ocean. This is the submarine from Navantia. The S-80 Plus class is a Spanish class of four submarines built by the state-owned Spanish company Navantia at its Cartagia shipyard and for the Spanish Navy. They were designed in the late 1990s, received initial production order in 2003, underwent a redesign and rebuild in the mid-2010s, and are currently in production. This 80 meters in length and 7 meters in diameter submarine constructed in Spain is famous for using the bioethanol stealth technology. This means that the fuel it uses is bioethanol. When in use, it produces hydrogen that later on combines with oxygen. This chemical reaction is the one responsible for the electric power of the submarine. If you want a submarine that leaves almost no traces and is harder for other radars to detect, this one is ideal for you as it produces almost no vibration at all. Aside from that, 32 sailors can simultaneously work with the submarine, and it can bring them to as deep as 300 meters while maintaining an underwater speed of more than 19 knots. To top it all off, it's also complete with a fighting system that fires ground assault tactical missiles. <laughs> so cool, isn't it? That's the end of today's list. Let us know in the comments section below what you think about it. We'd also love to know any of your questions and suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, click the notification bell to get notified whenever we post new videos. Till next time, thank you for watching.